Hello people, I'm Jenny Metherill and I'm a fourth generation witch. Today's video is part of my Halloween witch tips series and this I think is number four. Now you can't do a Halloween witch tip series without including something about pumpkins. I know I've done something about pumpkin seeds but I now wanted to show you a really lovely ritual that you can do with your family and friends as part of your Halloween celebration. It doesn't matter whether you're in a flat or whether you're in a large garden and you're outside, this is my pumpkin boundary spell. Now we all know that our wonderful American brethren are responsible for our pumpkins. Everyone also knows, I'm sure, that the Europeans originally used to carve out swede and turnips until our wonderful American brethren said, let's use the much more glamorous and more effective pumpkin. And of course, pumpkins, swedes, turnips, they're all used for the same thing. And that is to ward off evil spirits and negative entities. For of course, Halloween is the time when it's believed that the evil spirits can pour forth from their dominions and scare us mere breathing mortals. Now we don't want that of course because that would be bad. And so we carve our Halloween pumpkins and place them around. Not only do they look glorious, but they have this purpose too. So this is something that you can do when your friends turn up at your Halloween party. Of course, the first thing that you must do is carve your pumpkins. This is one of the easiest rituals because it is casting a circle with your pumpkins, essentially. And casting a circle always increases the energy within it. So this is my circle boundary spell. And you can use this spell for whatever you like. It is very, very changeable. It's very amenable for all sorts of changes or whatever you want your intent to be. For example, you might want to cast a circle for peace and harmony. Great. You might want to cast a circle for family entertainment. Also great. You might want to cast a circle to ensure that no evil is allowed in. Particularly fabulous, especially with a jack-o'-lantern. So the first thing we must do is to write down your intent for the circle. And I am obviously going to write down an intent for my circle of peace and harmony. And it is a simple phrase that you can remember and you can all repeat. I cast this circle to bring peace and harmony to my home, is what I'm going to say. You might say, I cast this circle to force out all evil spirits. Or I cast this circle to bring happiness and prosperity. Whatever it is that you want to cast the circle. The second thing we need to do is to gather your pumpkins together and charge them with your intent. So fill them with their candles, light those candles, and then cast a circle around the group of pumpkins and put your intent into them. I charge these pumpkins to cast my circle. And then you're able to do your procession. You and your guests can now carry the pumpkins around the edges of your boundaries, either outside or inside, repeating the phrase that you wrote down as you go. And this will form your spell. I love this Halloween witch tip. It was brought about by one of my subscribers who did comment that they like to cast a circle with their jack-o'-lanterns and I thought that's a brilliant idea. Let's do it for this party. And you can involve as many or as few people as you want in this ceremony. It's particularly witchy and very good for the soul in my opinion. Tell me what you think in the comments below. Are you going to do this? I'd love to know. And do you have any other traditions that you will be carrying out at Halloween? In the meantime, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps my channel. And I will see you in a couple of days.